The time has come for us to merge our souls so that we might shield ourselves against the Withering's Blight. To best magnify the power of our merging, there must be a point of convergence, a nexus for the energy we created, and that is the Seder. I offer myself as the Seder. Then come, join me at the altar and feel the warmth of our love. Now we must take our Seder out to meet the night sky. What is she doing here? I need to talk to Eric. Pay her no mind. Rachel is no longer a part of our foundation. She's a heretic who would see us destroyed by the withering. Daddy! Faith! She's alive? How is it possible? Who are you? What were you doing with my daughter? Please, I'm only trying to help. I'm Nora. I found this little girl wandering alone, and she asked me to bring her here. We must take them both inside, to ensure they are not infected by blight. Wait! What are you doing? You're not taking my daughter. No! Stay away from me! Honey, what's wrong? I know what you did. You left me behind. Faith, honey, please. I don't want to go with you! The girl is terrified of you, Rachel. We should take her inside and help her calm down. Yeah, you're probably right. Eric! Look at her, Rachel. She's freaking out. What's going on here? Don't worry. We'll explain inside. Rach. We gather here today to remember the people that are no longer beside us. We remember the fullness of their being. We honor the good and the bad. Ingrid, our mama, who was as ferocious as she was protective of this family. For better or for worse, she was a lion. And this scarf was her mane. Our Aunt Meta, as nurturing as she was unyielding, a parent and a friend in equal measure. We offer her nursing cap. Carl, our proud papa, who was as resilient as he was stubborn. He, he wasn't perfect, but he worked hard, and this shirt bears the stains of his sweat. And lastly, a very special little boy. His name was Orson. Orson. 
was a stubborn little man, just like his grandpa. He always did what he wanted to do, but he was brave too, like his aunt Brit. He was resilient and adventurous and always stood up for what he believed in. I was so proud to be his mother. Let him go. I can't abandon him. He's out there. Astrid, stop. You're just making it worse. This would have been good for you if you had trusted me. I, I can't give up. I know he's out there. I know he's... Orson! Astrid, wh where are you going? 